For number two, for number two, uh, vertical asymptote is x equals to zero because uh, that's the number that would make the denominator undefined. And that's the number that would make the whole fraction, I mean, sorry, that would, zero is the number that makes the denominator zero, which makes the whole fraction undefined. What about the horizontal asymptote? It would be two because minus five wouldn't matter much, right? So you have two X over X. And when you have two X over X, the X cancels out. So you have just two. So horizontal asymptote is uh, y, equals, uh, uh, y equals to two. So let me go ahead and draw the asymptotes. Now, based on this graph, because our vertical asymptote is on the y-axis. What can you also say about the intercepts? If the vertical asymptote is on the y-axis, is there anything you can elaborate? That's no y-intercept because we're not supposed to cross or touch the uh, vertical asymptote. That means uh, x can never be uh, x can never be zero. There's no y-intercept. That's a pretty obvious hint. And now, what about the uh, x-intercept? Again, you set the entire fraction to the zero, and then uh, for a fraction to go to zero, the numerator becomes zero. So you solve for x, so x equals two, five over two. So five over two comma zero, or 2.5 comma zero would be your x intercept. Okay. So now here's the question. Again, if you have a brain and you have two eyes, you cannot get this wrong, ready? So to the right-hand side of the vertical asymptote, would the graph be like this or be like this? The top or the bottom? It would have to be the bottom one. Why? Why is the bottom one? Yeah, the x-intercept. There's a point right there. <laughs> You have to cross the x-axis over there, so you have to draw the bottom one. All right, to the left, to the left of the uh, vertical asymptote, would you draw? Would you draw the top half or the bottom half? It must be the top half because what's that? You can say we already got one at the bottom, but that's not too reassuring. If you draw the bottom half. That means you will have to have another x-intercept. Did we find out another x-intercept? No, we just have one. We just have one x-intercept. So there's no way for us to have another x-intercept. So that means it has to be the bottom one. Oh, I mean the top one, sorry. It has to be the top one. So again, let me reiterate this. The presence of points like this, and the absence of points, they are both hints for you to draw your graph, okay?